so far, and I don't think you can know that, that precisely. What gives you confidence that you can be that here this year? Well, I've been it before. I've done it. Um, taking guys out of the game before. Um, check the film. Um, turn on the type of game. You know, um, turn on to be against top receivers and, and see their stats. Uh, when I'm on, not when they're in zone, not when they're in the slot running away from me, not when I'm in zone. When I'm man on man press, turn on that film. And then let me know what you think. All right, man, Carlton Davis says that he come to Detroit to lock down the number one receiver and lock down one side of the field. He said if you look at his reputation or you look at his film, <clears throat> you know, playing man-to-man -man press coverage, it speaks for itself. We know that's what Aaron Glenn would like to do. Last year they had to play a bunch of zone because they didn't have the manpower at corner to play man-to-man. -man. Um, we're also going to talk about some concerns that came up about Carlton Davis from the fans, and I think the media brought it up in some of the media portion of it. But hey, <clears throat> thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the Detroit Lions Talk playlist. He came in with the chain on, the sweater on, the shades on. Um, he came in swagged up. Only thing, you know, take them motherfucking shades you got on now, we don't do them here. All right, my nigga? Take them motherfuckers off and get you some buffs. Go down the hutch or whatever you get your buff, go get you some buffs. Them old shades, them lokes, and all that shit, man. Take that shit back to Tampa. Come get you some buffs, my boy. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I like the confidence. And as a cornerback, you got to have confidence. Some people say outside of quarterback, that's the hardest position to play. And I was listening to, uh, what's the guy? Uh, Ordry, Alex Ordry, the backup quarterback. Maybe the starter this year for Michigan. Don't have any high hopes for Michigan at all either. But, hey, um, he was asking, you know, the team, I think, around the national championship time, who was the hardest position to play outside of quarterback. And quarterback is the hardest position to play. I said quarterback is the hardest position to play in sports. You are literally responsible for knowing 10 people assignments, knowing the blocking scheme, knowing everybody route. And on top of that, <laughs> you know, you're responsible to know what the other 11 guys are doing on the other side of the football. You have to process, process all of this maybe 30 20 seconds at the line so you gotta know what they it's, it's the hardest position to play in sports i think it's, it's harder than hitting the baseball now have they made it easier absolutely hitting the baseball ain't gonna never become no easier that shit's tough too i could i could do everything else in baseball but hit throw i can feel all that shit at a high level i just couldn't hit <laughs> if i could hit i wouldn't be here talking to you ninjas right now i worked harder at it but um but on a serious note, uh, yeah, you know, cornerbacks, they got to have that confidence. They got to have it. There's no if, ands, in betweens. They got to have that confidence. They got to have it. Um, you know, and he said, you look at my numbers and press to press, man to man. And it speaks to itself. He right up there with Jerry Sneed as far as, you know, press to press, press to, uh, man to man, press coverage, or just man to man coverage. So the question is, will the Lions be able to run more man to man? You know, is Amic Robertson good enough to go on the outside and beat Cam Sutton? Or are they going to draft somebody else? And I continue to say this in videos, and I have to do the video on the speed. They just lack speed, bro. They still lack a lot of speed, even in the secondary. No, Nobody on the defense run a fucking 4-3. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. You know, nobody runs a 4-3, so they got to they gotta get faster, man. They got to find some speed all over that defense, man. You know? And but uh but speed ain't everything, you know. Um and you know, he come in here with a with a with a swagger, with a confidence, with an attitude, and you know, you lose a lot when you lose Gardner Johnson. You lose a mouthpiece. And people don't understand how powerful the tongue is. People say, I got mad because he waved goodbye to the 49ers. So the fuck what? That wasn't the reason they lost the football game. They lost the football game because the fucking coach was an idiot. And that happens. That happens. Like, you don't, like, like it's rare It's rare that you play a game and you beat it without dying on, on super hard the first time you play it. That's super rare. You know, life is, you know, you build up. You don't become an overnight success or overnight celebrity. That don't, that's, that's a, that's really a false figure of speech. It's a lot of work that go in. You know, so I remember T. Grizzly saying, you know, he had did some songs. He didn't think first day out was going to be the song that blew him up. That's how you, that's how I go. You, you know, you do something, he, damn, I blew up off that. I ain't think so. 
You know, it's 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 work that's put in. It's learning experiences. You know, um, you never stop learning in life. But uh, but nonetheless, yeah, you know, glad they're bringing somebody else in here with some swagger, with some confidence. You need that guy in that in that in that in on the team that's gonna put a battery in Pete in guys back. Who gonna talk shit? Who gonna bring swagger? You need those guys. That make guys go a little bit more harder to back up your teammate. You know what I'm saying? That give you a little bit more juice. I always use this one. Rasheed Wallace said, we will not lose was the game to the Indiana. I guarantee it. You think that it make Tayshaun Prince run a little bit harder to get that immaculate block on Reggie Miller? Absolutely. Trash talkers are needed on the team. Mouthpieces is needed. And a lot of y'all open up y'all mouth. Y'all niggas wouldn't be single. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I should have talked to her. There's some of y'all niggas, 35, 25, 40. Oh, I should have talked to her. <laughs> like, bro, closed mouth don't get fed. Even the Bible say that, you know, the, the tongue is powerful. It's powerful. You can speak things into existence. You can, you can, you can give life and take life with the tongue. Think about that. I'm not going to get that deep into it. It is sharp. You know? Y'all really be wanting choir boys. No, give me some shit talkers. Give me some thugs. Give me some give me some uh, uh head rockers. Give me some of them crazy ass biker boys with the tats on their arms and shit and wearing the look. Yeah, give me some crazy motherfuckers like Mike Crosby or something. Like give me a mixture of that. Come on, give me some give me give me some of that. You know what I'm saying? Pause. So I, I love the swagger he came in with. Wasn't braggadocious, wasn't boastful, wasn't too aggressive. It was cool. It was believable. You know, but when you go out there and say something like that, the first time he can burn, he can have, he can be, he could be in the 16th game. He ain't allowed the reception all year. He's been locked down. He get burnt one time by number 11 on the Vikings. People going to say, I told you he was a bomb. And that's what people love the internet. They love to prove you wrong. They don't want to spread no positivity when you're right. They don't want to say, oh, he's right, man. And yeah, I got to get his brother, his sister, his, his her flowers, his or her flowers. No, they want to wait till niggas see downfall. That's one of the reasons why I'm at the point where I'm just using social media just for business aspect. That's it. You know, too much negativity going on. But these same people, they see you, they smile and they say, oh, you do a good job. And these same motherfuckers, they say, oh, fuck you in the comment section. You, 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 you know, the same ones. They see you in person, I never keep the same energy. That's you got to understand on the internet, it's the internet. Got a rule of thumb. You see a girl that like a seven on the internet, unless you know in real life, really, she really a five or a four in real life. Filters, makeup, push bras, halter tops, all that shit. Come on. <laughs> Back wider than number 99 for the Lions, man. But hey, uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Shout out to Carlton Davis, the third man. Love the press conference. Love the swagger. We just got to get you them buffs on. Man, you got to earn your buffs, man. Keep them shades on. You got to earn your shit first, bro. <laughs> and he did win the Super Bowl in Tampa, so he bring that experience to the secondary. But, nigga, you got to wear, you gotta, you gotta wear some buffs, nigga. But we got to earn them, though. So you got to earn them first, though. But hey. You do a, a play like you did that pick in Atlanta this year, or you picked it off in the flat, you do that. Hey, go on, come, come on. We got to hit you with some buffs, man. Right now, you can get some UAW buffs. You can get some uh, or UA buffs, some unauthorized, fake-ass buffs. But until you do something, then you get the real one. So, yeah, 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 yeah. But, hey, hit the link tree. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Uh, you can find me on X, Spotify, Instagram, Facebook if you need to reach out. I'm on all those. Try to reach out fastest is probably X. Um on Spotify, Anchor. I'll check out the other channels. Links in the link tree. Appreciate the love support. Peace.